everyone so today I'm going to be doing my April favorites video I don't have a ton of stuff I feel like I always say that but I don't tend to try a ton of new things maybe like one thing here or there and it's not necessarily like a favorite it's just what I'm using so I pulled a few things though so the first thing I guess we're just jumping right in the first thing is this PYT dry shampoo I did a whole video with this brand but I really really have been liking this dry shampoo it's really nice and light it just makes your hair feel clean it's not like texturizing or anything so yeah it's kind of expensive it's like $40 I think but it's 5.3 ounces and then um, if you use code Carly just my name you can get 65% off um, I still need to do that and order a few backups of this because I really really like it so it's not a bad deal if you do the 65% off. Next thing I have talked about a few times, but it is the Dermalogical Multivitamin Hand and Nail Treatment. This is probably the best hand cream that I've tried because it's not greasy. So, like when I'm at work or where else do I go? School and I need to put hand cream on but then still like write and use my hands. <laughs> um, this doesn't gunk everything up and make your hand like stick on the paper. So, this is like essential to my life. Then I finally found a primer that actually does what it's supposed to and this is the Laura Geller Spackle, just the original one and this like keeps my makeup in place longer. I don't think it necessarily does anything with my oil but it keeps my makeup looking fresh longer and like not broken up and stuff. So I got this mini from work but once this is done I'm going to purchase the full size. I had a sample packet of it and I was going to purchase it but then I happened to get this one so I'm going to use this up. Um, but yeah I really like this and if you guys haven't tried this I feel like Laura Geller is kind of passed over a lot of times um, but it's a really good one so maybe try it. This is super random but this is a tiny little sample of the Benefit Dandelion and Shy Beam and I never touched this. I got it as like a point perk or something and I was like nope it's like a liquid highlighter but I just wanted it and I was playing with makeup the other day and I was like you know what let's try a cream blush and this highlight and I was like okay fine um, so I put the blush on I really liked it it was one of the Tarte sticks and then I used this and I really liked how this looks and then I got a little adventurous and I used it under my eyes and I really liked it so since then I've been using this to highlight my under eye area and I can put this on as like a touch up over my powder and everything so I've been doing that I have it on right now but you probably I mean whatever um but I really like this so once this is gone I'm gonna have to get the full size it's just like a pinky concealer looking color to be honest it's like the color correcting but they didn't think to call it that so they're not <laughs> getting money for that the next thing is a bite lipstick I just got this one as well this is one of the amuse Boucher or Bou what, however you say that I don't know and this is in sugarcane it's just a really nice neutral kind of nudie pink color and I've been using this as like a topper for different colored liquid lipsticks I've also used it alone but um, I like these over liquid lipsticks I feel like they add like some hydration and stuff but they're not crazy shiny so they don't complete I mean they ruin the matte look but they don't mm, what am I trying to say like they don't look like wet either I don't know this I did not think would be a favorite but it's from pure minerals and it's the marble powder in pink and it's just a really pretty like everyday blush color and I this is a mini from Ulta as well but I was like eh, it'll be fine but I actually really really like this it's really nice and like sheer it's buildable but it's not super crazy and it's good for every day so yeah I might have to get the full size if this ever runs out I doubt it but I don't actually have two many blushes. I try not to buy a lot of them. Then on to the last thing already. I feel like my videos are usually like half an hour long but not my favorites. Um, these are the Eyelore Lashes in 117 Texture. That's what I have on today and I've mentioned them in a couple videos now but it's not necessarily these lashes. I do really like these but it's just been wearing them lately. I feel like they really add something without having to do a ton of work unless you're really bad at applying them. I'm not great, I'll be honest. Um, but on days where I just want to do like a mascara and lip look like I have on today, then if you add some lashes, it kind of like bumps it up a little bit. So yeah, that's what I, I have them on today, but um, you know, whatever. So that was everything. I probably could have picked more things, but I've been kind of testing a lot of stuff out, and I can't really say that it's like my favorite. So 
those things are though. But anyways, I also have Instagram and Twitter if you guys want to see what I'm up to over there. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.